What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with the Blind Run channel. This channel doesn't quite have a direction yet, but it does allow me to put some videos out that I wouldn't necessarily want to put on my main channel for various reasons, including, of course, offending a particular crowd or anything along those lines. Not that I'm setting out to do it. It's just the nature of the beast. And today ends up being one of those videos. So it's going on the secondary channel. Today, we're going to be talking about the Kraken CEO, Jess Powell, and his statements on Fox Business in regards to wokeism within the workplace. Let's go ahead and get into it. Of course, if you enjoy this type of content, hit the like, comment, subscribe, and notification bell over here, and be aware that we are close to monetization on this channel. So I, it I would be highly appreciative if you got us over that bump, over that hump, and it's all based on view hours. So definitely go view some more content on the channel. Let's hop in though to leave because they don't agree with if they don't agree with his policies. The CEO is Jesse Powell of Kraken and Jesse Powell joins me now. Jesse, did you feel that you, your company was under attack from the inside? Absolutely. Um, productivity was certainly under attack substantially. A lot of people were losing a lot of time uh, arguing with these people and uh, getting into therapy sessions with them, you know, to, to console them when their feelings are hurt over, you know, people saying the wrong thing. So this is a incredibly interesting direction he's taking with it, which is a waste of time. And it specifically goes around the factor of instead of these people that are practicing wokeism within the workplace, just getting their work done. Instead, what they're doing is basically just complaining about the workplace conditions, depending on basically whatever woke ideology they are adhering to, arguing with other people, and then using that as an advantage to go through therapy sessions or something along those lines during work hours instead of getting work done. Now, one of the things I want to bring up in relation to productivity here that I see a lot, and I think a lot of people have discussed this, it's not just my theory in regard to this, but with wokeism, what you set up is a section of people that are playing victim cards as opposed to advancing through society or the workplace with merit. And what I mean by that is they use something within the wokeism ideology, whether that be uh, race, religion, whatever it may be, right? Sexuality, what, what not, as opposed to basically doing a good job at work, right? Instead, they play a victim card to up their position within society. And this is something that is rampant throughout our entire Western culture and has proven to be a problem in multiple facets, not just within the workplace, but definitely I think ends up being very damaging within a workplace where your primary goal, regardless of your race, religion, sexuality, should be to do a good job. And at the end of the day, from my perspective, I think you should have the right to be whatever you want at any given time. And as long as you are getting your job done and you're the best person for that job, then you should be promoted above anybody else, regardless of any of those other factors that play a part in this entire woke culture. But playing a victim card and trying to, to be on the side of some minority to raise your position up within society and maybe get some more money economically or through the workplace isn't necessarily what I would want to see within a workplace I participate in. And so, you know, we felt like it was such a drain that, um, you know, these people might just be better off somewhere else. And so we're offering them four months of salary in order to, uh, you know, sail off into the sunset <laughs> and find a, a better workplace for themselves. Okay. Holy moly. So it is worth more to Kraken to give them four months salary than whatever productivity they would have for those four months. It's like you guys are wasting so much time and wasting the time of other employees argue with, arguing with them that you're hurting productivity to the point that we would rather pay you for four months of your salary just to leave. Hey, wave goodbye to him, okay? How many have taken up your offer so far? Uh, about 30 so far uh, okay. that, that, have, that have cited culture or mission related reasons as the, the reason for taking the, the deal. Um, what do you do if they don't leave and they stay within the company, passing around what you might call poison and poisoning the atmosphere of the workplace? What do you do with them? That's a great question. And, and I'm sure there will be some of those people that stay behind 
and uh, they want to push their agenda. But you know, I want everyone to know that this this is not going to be a workplace where we're going to tolerate that kind of behavior, and uh, people will be managed out the hard way if that's what it takes. Man, you're really so man is out the hard way is an interesting position to take because I assume that means what they will do is some sort of merit based tracking system. Traditionally, I haven't gotten along with a lot of these in most IT industries because for the most part, if you use something like CW uh, or con which is ConnectWise or some sort of management software like that, you're kind of dependent on the employee to just put in the amount of hours and it's really hard to track that. I lean towards for a merit-based system, merit system, something like mechanic work where you essentially have a job to do. It lists the amount of hours that it's worth. And if the mechanic finishes that job in a less amount of time, he still gets the full pay for the full amount of time in the flag book. This is one thing that I think that the IT industry could adopt that would definitely see a huge boost to productivity within the workplace over the current managing system systems, but it will probably be something along those lines as far as a merit-based system to w basically weed out the people that aren't being productive, i.e. managed out the hard way. On this, what, uh, have you got any criticism? <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, yeah, I've got a lot of criticism for it. You know, I think 99% I think of the company just wants to do great work. Um, you know, I think I think when you go woke, you go broke because you're not going to get anything done. <laughs> and the people that do want to work are going to leave and go to work at a place like Kraken, you know, where they can actually do stuff. So uh, I think I think that the whole the woke activist movement inside of companies, I think, just completely ignores the fact that we have a business to run and we have a bigger mission than somebody's individual, mm -hmm. you know, personal preferences being met. You know, we're trying to deliver financial services to the world. There are billions of people left out in the cold right now who don't have access to financial services and and he bring, he brings up a great it. point there that i kind of wanted to shoot off of the thing i want to leave you guys with is a stoic quote that i've been basically thinking about a lot lately and it goes like this it says don't discuss what a good man is be one and this is basically an attack directly on wokeism as you kind of Think about it because wokeism is basically a bunch of people arguing between each other over what is good or bad, as opposed to just being a good person based on your ideology or principles. So if you are uh, adhering to a principle within wokeism that you really think is good, as opposed to just discussing it and pressing that onto other people, and uh, you should er, imposing that onto other people with speech you should in general just decide to be a good person, live by those principles, set an example and go that route. Once again, I wanna leave you with that. Don't discuss what a good man is, be one. Thanks everybody for watching today. If you enjoy this type of content, hit the like, comment, subscribe down below and share this channel out because we will be hitting harder topics over here and we actually have quite a few that I wanna be discussing that will not be going up on the Son of a Tech channel. I'll see you next Tuesday. If you enjoyed this content, be sure to hit the subscribe button for more or check out this playlist for more crypto content related topics.